sorry about the delousing rod. It's standard procedure. It's powdered sugar. The lice hate the sugar. Listen, Rod, it's delicious. Uh, good. So put in the comments below who your favorite character is in the movie and what your favorite skit is and your favorite punchline. In the meantime, this powdered sugar is delicious. Mmm. It's so good. Hello, my name is Rusty Zipper and today I'm doing the movie review of Super Troopers 2. I wouldn't say I'm a huge fan of Super Troopers, but I, a medium-sized fan. I've probably watched the movie 20 times. I actually have a pirated copy of the DVD I made back just out of high school, and I'm a pretty big fan of it. I find all the punchlines funny. I have them memorized, and if somebody throws them out, I'll recognize that. But I don't have all the characters' names memorized, and it certainly wasn't the greatest film, but I always thought it was interesting because it was a low-budget, independent film. It was not very well rehearsed, but I think that's what made this movie so much fun. Was It was just a, a comedy film, and I've watched the behind-the-scenes and the director's take on the movie, and it, and I found it's funny because the director and the editor will point out all the funny scenes where the, you can see people's feet and the actors where they flub up or when the car transmission goes up in the first scene when they're backing up real fast. And it's funny to hear the behind the scenes take on how low budget the film was and how quick they shot it for what they had to work with. And it's been a huge success since. It did $20 million at the box office and $70 million in DVD sales. Of course, they didn't get any money from me. but. I was writing a check yesterday and I saw it today was 420 and I don't uh, I don't do that 420 so I did remember the Super Troopers was coming out I didn't have any intentions of seeing the movie but I looked at the weather the weather looked like crap so I didn't have much going on today so why not let's spend $12 let's go see Super Troopers so I want to give you guys an unbiased review should you watch this movie in person in the theaters before it hits the DVDs yeah, I did watch one guy's review online and he said it was basically like a 20 year reunion of the Broken Lizard film crew and the plot was was so in depth but the, scene, the comedy scenes were too well rehearsed. But before I can go out there I want to get in the spirit one, of the Super Troopers two, first movie and three. a little throwback to 2002 Louis. and the scene oh, that I thought was really girlfriend. funny. I'm your mother. Come on Thorny you're losing to the rookie it's embarrassing. Come on Rabbit you can do it. Oh Rabbit he's killing you. I got Thorny in front by a lot. What's the matter, your mama didn't teach you how to chug? Come on, Thorny. That's good syrup right there, boys. All right, now I am in the mood to go watch the Super Troopers movie. So I sure hope this movie is good because I got enough sugar in me right now to last till Halloween. All right, so I just got back from watching the movie and I gotta say, it was okay. It was not what I, thought it would be. I knew it wasn't going to be as good as the first movie. I figured it'd be a little overproduced and too polished. The jokes just seemed too rehearsed and they didn't really seem to flow as good as they did in the first movie. First movie, they you can't replicate that type of film. It was just such a low budget film. That's really what made it so popular. Um, so is this movie worth watching right now? I would say yeah. If, if you've got time to kill nothing else to do with 12 bucks or 18 bucks, whatever it costs, and go see it. But otherwise, you're not going to miss much if you wait for it to come out in Redbox or Netflix or DVD or whatever. So about halfway through the movie, it actually got kind of funny. There were some good skits in there and some one-liners. But the first half of the movie, it was kind of painful to sit through. Even though I am a pretty decent fan, it just seemed too well rehearsed and too polished for me. A little overproduced. One thing that did surprise me was how many scenes were filmed at night. I just thought that was weird because in the first movie, almost all the scenes were filmed during the daytime, and this movie was filmed pretty much at night. Just enjoy the first movie. I kind of wish they had a couple of the characters that were in the first movie, like the hot blonde that was driving the Porsche, if she were in there. Maybe a couple more scenes with Ursula, that would have been a better film. But let me know in the comments below what your your thoughts are in the new movie. Let me know what your favorite scenes were and your favorite characters, if the movie is any good or not. I'd love to hear it in the comments. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And remember, you got to relax that jaw. Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Come on, Thorn. Oh. God damn it. I am all that is man. Every time. Finish it up. 
See, there you have it. You're doing it all wrong. You gotta open your throat, relax your jaw. Don't forget to cup the bulls. And you're never gonna win with those thin little bird lips you got there. See, this guy's got these big old powerful lips. Am I correct, Thorn? So much of my authority is derived from the power right here. God damn it! You gotta get over there and you gotta cuff her. Do it. You're a highway patrolman. 